again so in this tutorial we will create a simple controller for our application so let us start so if you go in your uh, source code and uh, I'm just opening my terminal in here and you will see that my terminal actually located in my CAC my app application so give any command we have to go in bin folder bin folder actually called CAC PHP shell folder so for give a command I am going to in my bin folder so typing cd then bin and after hit on enter you can see that the my direction has been changed cat my app to cat my app slash bin so now if you want to see the available command in cat php you have to just type cat then hit on enter you will see all available command in cat php so there is lots of command like app console help like back back all behavior and lots of command we will see everything gradually so let clear our screen and then let create a controller for our students table there is my i have already connected my source with tutorial and tutorial has a database called students and our first plan we will create a student table uh, in our application so for now i'm going to give a command like cat back then controller then uh, name of my table or name of my controller for example i'm going to create my controller for a student table so i'm just typing stu D N T S. that means plural name of my database this is the name of my database students is my name of my database so i'm typing enter then back will complete okay it has completed and then you can see in our source folder and there is a folder called controller in this controller you will get your all controller that you have that uh, you will create when you will create a controller you will see your controller in here cat php already given some controller like app controller error controller pages controller you just created a students controller and a students controller extends with app controller so app controller actually the parent controller when you will create any controller always you have to extend it with your app controller that means it's the parent controller so now let's see your students controller in our students controller cat php generated uh, some a class a class called students controller and also it generated some method like index method view add edit and delete so now let's talk about index method so there is you can see the declare strict types one that means scalar type uh, strict type equal to one and then namespace added app controller is our name is that means it, it's in app then in controller folder the name is they have app controller so now index folder to go in this index folder from browser we have to just give the path like your controller name for example our controller name is students uh, sorry uh, it's students yeah s-t-u-d-n-t-s students then hit on enter it, you will see the missing template that means when you will create a controller app and you want to go in this controller then you will get a error exception for your missing template that means we still not create any template for our students so you can see they already suggest us that that where we have to create our uh, template they suggest that we have to go in students and then we have to create index.php file they come from the location like that templates folder students folder creative folder for students and then index.php i'm not going to create template now i'm just going to uh, give a exit in here like exit 
then see if we reload your page you will see nothing that means we stopped our controller to go or load our view so now if i just comment this page this line i will discuss about this line after then i'm just making echo uh, uh, json encode json encode then giving the variable students and just save it and go in browser you will see our your students data that means when CACPHP will generate your controller, it will also create your index, edit, view, and delete method. And by this index method, you can browse your all students information. So now, this is the students that we are seeing in here. So if you want to, if we want a single students from our URL, then what we will do? We can go in our view method you can see for view method they need an id and in by this id it will uh, get the students id information from the database then it will set for view so i'm also going to browse a single uh, single entity so for that i'm going to this is my students controller then i'm going to my um, method name and my method name is view so i'm just typing view when you will hit enter without give any uh, id then it will uh, give you a exception that means record not found in table students with primary key null then if you just uh, give the id any id and just hit on enter that we will see the missing template exception same thing that we have seen in index so i'm just copy this line and same thing I'm doing here. I'm going to comment this line and paste it in here. And this is student. I'm going to change the students to student. Then go in here, reload the page. You can see your single students now in here. If you go to give the four, then you will see the four IDs data in here. So you don't need to think, you don't. Uh, think anything uh, for or concern about your route your route will automatically created by CAC PHP. so you just need to access this uh, data for example i'm just uh, i have given here controller name and the method name and the controller name will be a small letter uh, for of your controller name like they have created a camel case uh, uh, name like s is capital then students controller c is capital like this and but when you will search in uh, browser then you have to type like students then view like that so it's a today's tutorial then how we can create a controller and you can see how you can see the list of your data and it's actually generated uh, go trying to go in view or template file We'll create our template file in next tutorial. So let's uh, see next tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And this tutorial, we under, we learned how to create a simple controller using CAC PHP. So thank you. Well, welcome for next tutorial.